Bob from PineGrow here with a quick tip. PineGrow has a built-in compiler for the SAS and LESS style sheet languages. Additionally, this compiler also runs an auto prefixer when converting your SAS or LESS sheets to normal CSS. So what does this mean? Well, some CSS styling requires browser or vendor prefixes added so that a particular browser recognizes it. Some vendor prefix examples are WebKit, Moz, and MS. However, what rules need prefixing changes often. So using a compiler makes a lot of sense. But what can we do if we have a complex project where we aren't using SAS or less? Well, we can play a little trick with PineGrow. To demonstrate how this works, let's add a new bit of styling to this page, a box shadow on the images. So to start, I'm just gonna click on one of the images and then within the style panel, I'm just gonna scroll down to the box shadow section. So I can just go ahead and click on this icon. Then within there, I'll go ahead and add a shadow. We'll make it a good size. Offset to the corner, 315 degrees, and we'll change the color to black. Okay, so let's see how that looks in our style sheet now. So open up our style sheets and select the code button. And as we scroll down, we can see here for the div.gallery image element rule, uh, we now have a box shadow of 8 pick, 8 pick black that we selected. Okay, here's the trick. From that same style sheet dropdown, go ahead and click the more actions button and then convert to SCSS. Right now, it's gonna notify me that I haven't saved this sheet, so let's do that first. Convert. Now we can see that this box shadow has an additional dash WebKit dash prefix added to it uh, by the styler. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that from the this point on in the rest of this project, all rules should be added to the style.scss sheet, not to the style.css sheet. However, when you go to load your final project onto the live server, you should use that final compiled style.css style sheet uh, for your page. So one last little thing, under support and settings, down at the very bottom, you can see that there's a, a click box for use CSS auto prefixer. And below that, there's a box for custom auto prefixer settings. This lets you set what browsers you should auto prefix for. If you need a better, more detailed explanation for this, you can click on the link that's here. Hope this tip helps someone out. Until next time, have fun designing with PineGrow.